In this video, I replace a plastic front wheel arch liner on the A3, which was damaged during a flood. I also identify a significant mud trap, which could also be a potential rust trap. So if you've got an A3 or a Golf or any of the Volkswagen Group cars that are derived from this platform, you may want to check yours. Just recently I hit a puddle at quite high speed at night. Didn't realise how deep it was, I think it was a bit of a flood and it's torn out this wheel arch liner here and damaged it. Lots of it broke off, it was all hanging and flapping and I pulled the bits off uh, as they were making a noise uh, and now I'm here to replace it. I got a new one online, it's from a breaker's yard and it was only about 18 quid. It's held in place with a number of fixings of which I think there were just two types. There's a T25 here and here and various others dotted around and there are also some plastic clips of the type where you remove the centre and then you can release the clip itself. Let's start down here. Centre is removed. And then the clip itself. There are a few of these. Another one here by the brake pipe. One up top here. And one down there. We then move on to these T25s. There's another T25 up here and one hidden away in here just behind the bumper. And that is it with the fixings. At the top here it clicks into place above this bracket here. We need to overcome that. Now we are in here with the cover removed, it's a really good opportunity to see what good these covers actually do because they essentially protect these areas from mud, impacted mud, that used to so often make cars rust when they weren't necessarily that old. Mud used to splash up into here, impact at the top of the wings and cars in the old days used to have rust dotted all along here all across the top of the wings and often at the back here. Now unfortunately some does make it past the wheel arch liner and if you look at the back here look at that some impacted mud and sand that's wet that stays wet that never dries out and that will over time rust out this lower part of the wing and you do sometimes see on modern cars rust in places where you, you really wouldn't expect to if this liner did its job so I'm going to clean out all of this it's really important to clean this out some of this will be dirt that's washed down from the plenum chamber drains so some of this will be a mixture of dirt and maybe even the odd leaf that turns to mud There is so much between this panel and the outer wing. This is all coming out there. I'm going to get the hose pipe, I think, and blast this out. I doubt very much if that wheel arch liner has ever been out. So that could well be 13 years of mud buildup. Unfortunately, cars from the Volkswagen Audi group are generally painted and rust proofed well. And had this area in here not been untreated metal, that would have probably rotted through by now. But it hasn't. It's just a tiny little bit there that looks like the paint's come off, probably uh, as a result of me cleaning it. But that's all good now. Of course, that does mean I'll want to have a look at the other side. I've let that dry out and I'm just going to spray a bit of this in here. Not going to go crazy, but there is that little bit of bare metal there. and the new liner is being eased into place. It is generally easier to get this edge in first and line up the screw hole here before moving on to the other fixings. Everything is lined up. Three at the front are tight, clip back in there, clip back in there, 
clip there. Two screws at the back that are tight, clip there, and a screw up there that's tight. Moving round to the other side, be interested to see what we find. And coming round to the other side, wow, this is worse. Who'd have thought? You'd think that the worst would be on the passenger side with all the muck from the curb side, but no. This is impacted with mud and leaves. And all sorts of things. Nasty, rust-inducing, impacted mud and earth. Okay, I've had a good rake around and look what's come out of there. That's pretty disgusting. Like I did on the other side, I'm going to get the hose in there and wash it all out at pressure. And look at that. It is pristine in there. Now, if you're owning a car for any length of time, you want to do these kind of jobs from time to time just to preserve the car, extend its life. And that is all back together. Very straightforward, very simple. Just need to take the wheel off to do it. And I know some people might think this is over the top, but I do like to look after my things, especially my cars. The wheel arch liner has been replaced and the mud cleaned out from this area. The only downside of vehicles that have plenum chamber drains right at the ends here is that the water and the leaves and all the bits do go down into the wings. So that is quite a common problem with vehicles that vent the water in this way. Many other cars have a grommet at the base of the plenum chamber, usually a couple of them, and they can block up and allow this whole area here to fill with water, which could potentially get in through the heater and cause a water leak into the car. That is not a problem on A3s and Golfs because as I said, the water does drain out here into the wings at the back. So it is important that from time to time this is cleaned out. I look forward to seeing you again in another video very soon. Meantime, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.